Welcome to Base World. I'm Afina Romzi. The ringgit is expected to strengthen against the US dollar in the fourth quarter this year. Deputy Finance Minister Lim Ho Ying said the local currency is performing well against the greenback over the last few months, based on the economic and investment performance. Perkembangan ini menunjukkan bahawa pelabur semakin yakin terhadap perkembangan ekonomi negara dan usaha-usaha yang dilakukan oleh kerajaan. Aliran masuk dana dan pelaburan asing ini dijangka berterusan dan seterusnya menyokong pengukuhan nilai ringgit. She added that the ringgit was also the only regional currency that strengthened by 1.4% against the US dollar since February 26. Meanwhile, regional currencies such as the Singapore dollar, the Thai baht, the Korean won, the Philippine peso and the Indonesian rupiah contracted against the greenback. Malaysia recorded 40.4 billion ringgit foreign direct investment FDI net inflow last year from 75 billion ringgit in 2022. Chief Statistician Datuk Sri Muhammad Uzzi Maidin said the decrease in net inflow was mainly in equity and investment fund shares, reflecting the global economic slowdown. This was in line with the United Nations Trade and Development 2024 Global Investment Trends Monitor Report, which highlighted the FDI inflows to developing countries had declined about 9% to 841 billion US dollar in 2023. On direct investment abroad or DIA, he said the net outflow narrowed to 40.6 billion ringgit, mostly contributed by the services sector. The services sector remained the primary contributor of DIA by, registri- by registering an accumulated amount of 461 billion ringgit in 2023. Malaysia, Indonesia, Turkey and the Gulf nations are progressively becoming major emerging market debt issuers. According to Fitch Ratings, up until May, these countries collectively re- re- represented 51% of the total US dollar denominated debt issued by emerging markets, excluding China. The credit ratings agency anticipates continued growth in 2024 to 2025, supported by government efforts to expand debt capital markets, diversify funding, finance projects and maturing debts. It added that Sukuk is also emerging as a significant funding and policy tool, representing 12.4% of all emerging market dollar debt issued in 2024. It also said emerging market dollar debt issuance exceeded 200 billion US dollar in the first five months of this year, with Saudi Arabia being the top issuer, followed by Argentina, the UAE, Brazil, Turkey, Indonesia, Mexico and Chile. Malaysia's air passenger traffic recorded a significant 12.2% year-on-year increase to 8 million in May. According to the Malaysian Aviation Commission, MAFCOM, the growth was primarily driven by increased international travel. It said ASEAN air passenger traffic experienced the highest month-on-month increase at 2.9%, while the overall international traffic also saw a 2.2% month-on-month growth. It added that May traffic figures demonstrated the resilient and ongoing recovery of the aviation sector, particularly in international traffic, which is a positive indicator of global travel and health, tourism health. Bursa Amnesia closed higher today as bargain hunting emerged after several days of sell-offs. At 5 p.m., the FBM KLCI increased 5.57 points to 1,590.95. Market press was positive with 674 gainers against 433 losers while 465 were unchanged. Ragutan Trade expects the shock market to remain steady due to improving investors' sentiment. Well, that's all the time that we have for Bizro. I'm Afna Romzi. Keep tuning in to TVTika.